What's going on guys, Logs here, and happy Labor Day for all of you out there who are working and have the day off, have a three-day weekend. Um, I've always loved Labor Day, you know, it's one of those holidays that people overlook a lot because, you know, it's not like, uh, I guess it's not really for kids, but it's, you don't really have too many people hyped up about it, but Labor Day is very essential. I mean, you have people who work really hard and work long hours, so just having a day off in general is just really, really cool. But I also think it's very overlooked, especially nowadays, because there are so many people out there who uh, are unemployed. You know, unemployment rate is at a sky-high level right now. It's the most it's ever been in a long time with uh, everything going on with COVID-19 and stuff. So a lot of people are sitting at home without a job, so it's like a Labor Day every day, but it's, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot more serious than that. And then there are the people who don't get the days off on Labor Day, which uh, I kind of fall into. And I actually have today off. I'm actually not working today, which is actually cool. But the only reason that is is because my days off already fall on Monday. I ha always have Monday off right now for my current schedule. So it's not like a, a planned thing that I have Labor Day off just, you know, given to me. If you guys don't know, I am a police officer, so we don't really get holidays off. Um, it would be funny, though, if you call 911 on Labor Day and say, Hey, I just got robbed, and they tell you, Well, sorry, police aren't in today. They uh, they had the day off, you know. <laughs> it would kind of turn into, like, the purge, where 24 hours, just anyone can commit any kind of crime whatsoever. Which also is, you know, something that a lot of people probably wouldn't mind, you know, getting rid of the police, abolishing the police. That's a hot topic right now. And, you know, I'm all for it, man. If you get rid of us, hey, that's awesome. I'll sit back on the sidelines. I'll see how it unfolds. And when you beg for us to come back, hey, just pay me more and I'll come back. I mean, <laughs> I'm all for it, man. I would love to see uh, how that plays out for everyone who's, you know, advocating for that. But, uh, yeah, Labor Day, it's a day that, you know, I usually don't have off. I have uh, haven't had this day off, actually, in like four or five years now. Um, just being a police officer, I've always worked on the holidays and this day I pretty much have every day off for the holidays, um, except Thanksgiving, which when I say I have to work on holidays, I could always ask for a holiday off, but it's not always given, you know, especially right now. If I asked for a day off now, they probably wouldn't give it to me, to be honest, because we have so few people working. I mean, we're like 80 officers below minimums right now at the department I work at. So it's it's very, very hard to get a day off right now because so many people quit, so many people retired, and they just left to do another, any other job except being a police officer. But even before being a police officer, I've always worked jobs that, you know, you don't really think about, but jobs that just you can't take a day off. Um, one of them being my first job, which, which was at a animal shelter. It was a humane society where basically I'd take care of cats and dogs and stuff. And sure, the animal shelter wasn't open on Labor Day, but we still have to go in and like let the dogs out, feed the cats, feed all the animals, you know, clean up all the poop, clean up whatever, take care of the sick ones. Like you can't just take a day off um, if, from animals or from anything living and taking care of it. You just can't take a day off. You can't take a day off from grandma who uh, has cancer and she's, you know, needs help walking and stuff. You can't take a day off from animals who, you know, need to be fed every single day. So I've always worked a job where you really don't have uh, that, you know, that privilege to uh, take a day off from work. And it's actually... It's actually really, you know, humbling looking back at the jobs I've worked. I did work at a, like, gun store, and we had to work on freaking Labor Day because they had a Labor Day sale for guns, and any of you watching out there who, you know, don't have guns in your life or have never, like, shot a gun or anything, it probably sounds obscure, but around here in the United States, guns are pretty prevalent, depending on what state you live in, so having a uh, Labor Day gun sale is not too uncommon. But uh, it did piss me off because I mean I went <laughs> I worked so many Labor Days over the years and so many holidays looking back, and it's never really fun working holidays. But at the same time, you know you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make that money, and you also get uh, a little bit extra when you work holidays. So I'm never I'm never too upset. But there's a lot of jobs out there that people work that 
have to work on holidays, have to work on Labor Day. You never really think about um, food, for example. There's a lot, a ton of restaurants, you know, 24 hours a day. Everything's always moving. Uh, they don't stop the food industry. So there's a lot of restaurants that are open on Labor Day. There's a lot of stores. Um, I think Walmart is open today, and they just cut the hours a little bit. But there's a ton of people that work on Labor Day. It's not that big anymore. Like, not too many people actually celebrate the holiday, which is crazy to me because I always thought, you know, you work so long and you do all these time. You deserve a three-day weekend, which is what it is. And a lot of places, you know, they still work and they're still open on Labor Day. And I, I just don't agree with that. I think if you have a holiday specifically for people taking a day off from work, you know, everyone should kind of like follow it and celebrate it. But times are changing, man. The world is a different place nowadays. Um, it's 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 very different from, you know, when I grew up. And I'm 27 years old, so I'm a lot older than a lot of people watching right now, I'm sure. But times are very different. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're changing for the better. I don't know if they're changing for the worse. But I think it's, it's very different, you know. The world nowadays is constantly moving. It's constantly evolving, uh, especially with technology, man. Everything's changing. So I think over time, more and more people are going to take less days off because they don't want to fall behind. They look around and see how, how fast things are changing in the world, how fast things are changing in life. And people love the grind. People love every single day. Got to do it. Got to do it. Um, but I know a lot of people who don't like their job. I know a lot of people who hate going to work, who complain about it. That's all I do is talk about, hate this job, hate this job. And, uh, it's not people around me that I work with. It's people that I see. Um, a good example would be last night I went to do guard duty at the hospital. Basically, we arrested a guy and he had to go to the hospital and it turns out he has COVID, so he's gonna be at the hospital for a few days. We have to basically guard him, it's pretty much babysitting a grown man at the hospital until he can go to jail. Um, and I just listened to the nurses because I had guard duty for like four hours. Basically, I just sit and play on my phone and look at Twitter or shit. But I basically just sat there and listened to the nurses. And the amount of nurses that just complain the entire time about their job and like hey girl you know i'm getting off this weekend for labor day oh i anything to get out of this hell hole i hate it here oh i know girl this place sucks <laughs> like, they just shit on the hospital they just talked horribly about their job and i'm just sitting there like dude if i hated my job i would quit like there's there would be nothing holding me back from just leaving and I know money is a big issue. Money is the reason we do it. Um, but realistically, if not enough money in the world could keep me doing something I hated, like just every day in, day out, if you just hated it, why continue to do it? But I also have to play devil's advocate because I know there's a ton of people out there who need the money to survive and they can't just jump to another job. And that's a big scary thing to do as well, jump into another job. So I think uh, I think staying at a job that you hate until you can find something you're comfortable with changing, comfortable with lateraling over to um, is a big thing. So, you know, I don't have as many responsibilities as people with like families, wife, kids, all that stuff. Um, but I just know that if I ever got stuck in a rut where I just didn't like my job anymore, I know I would find something else. And I hope a lot of people... Uh, out there who ha are in the same boat would also do the same thing. But uh, yeah, so all the people out there who are off today for Labor Day, enjoy it, sit down, relax, play some video games, watch a movie, grill out, freaking drink a beer, whatever you want to do. Hey, if you're 18 and you're drinking, you know, I'm going to turn the other cheek today. So you guys have a good one. I'm Logs and I'm out. Deuces.